earthquake that hit Christchurch last year. Some farmers have reported up to two metres of snow and there's even been snow in Auckland for the first time in 72 years. The city recorded its coldest day on record. Rather different picture here. Here's Nick Miller. Wouldn't it be great if it could be so smug and say, well, it's so lovely and <laughs> sunny and warm here, isn't it? Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> we know the real story, don't we? More rain in the forecast. This is the rainfall picture so far today. And for England and Wales, it's showers moving through, but more substantial rain yet again in Scotland, especially across southern and the western areas. Bright colours showing up here, so heavier bursts of rain just turned very wet in Glasgow, for example. All of that moving north across Scotland, whereas for the rest of us, a slow improvement this afternoon. We get to see a bit of sunshine fighting through that cloud from time to time. And it's Northern Ireland that gets that sunshine first. A few showers continue, though, to affect England and Wales. Four o'clock this afternoon and noticeably better across Northern Ireland. Still the odd shower around. Start to brighten up across the far southwest of Scotland and Fries and Galloway into Ayrshire but elsewhere this band of rain still with heavy bursts feeding its way further northeast. Now for England and Wales, yes, it begins to brighten up but it's still not dry because these showers work through and later this afternoon down the eastern side of England some of those showers could be on the heavy side. You may even see a fleeting shower move through the London area later but uh, it's breezy, it's bright away from those because the sun does begin to burst through that cloud though in the southwest of England and for Wales it's a, it's a fairly slow process. Eventually though we'll get there. Still one or two showers around though in Wales. That's the picture then this afternoon. For tonight still wet for a time in Scotland. Eventually though by the end of the night that rain feeds into the Northern Isles. Elsewhere with clearing skies it will turn quite chilly, very fresh for this time of year. And for Northern Ireland through Wales the Midlands and the south of England there'll be a few fog patches developing. Very different start to the day tomorrow with some sunshine as the area of low pressure that's giving us this rain begins to move away. But there is a sting in the tail, a trailing weather front close to the south that eventually tomorrow, after the bright start, will feed in more cloud across southern England. A bit of patchy rain coming into the southwest, the far southwest, could get some heavier bursts. The odd spot of rain may feed in elsewhere across the south and south Wales later in the day. To the north of the UK, though, some decent sunny spells, few showers for Scotland and for Northern Ireland, just a light breeze, though, so in some sunshine, it'll feel pleasantly warm. Thursday, though, will be a wetter day for England and Wales. Some heavier bursts of rain feeding in from the southwest. Still some showers around in Scotland and for Northern Ireland. That's gone, though, by Friday. By Friday, we are in between weather systems, so this is one of the better weather days of the week with some sunshine around and, again, feeling pleasantly warm. Hence, it'll be warmer at the weekend, particularly in the southeast. But for now, if you want to know more about that New Zealand snow, the latest video update is with BBC Weather Online. Just go there and click on Weather News. That's it, Sophie. Nick.